I think, you know, the game, we started off really well, and I thought we were more aggressive than we had been in the first two games, creating chances, and, uh, you know, Atlantic came back uh, playing co with confidence because, like you said, they, they were off a high from a great win in Tampa. Them scoring the first goal, I, I think, threw us for a loop, but the nice thing was, I think, we responded really well, and not just in terms of play, but just in terms of calmness and the attitude that that happens in games sometimes. Sometimes, you know, when you're uh, throwing some punches, there's a counter punch and, and you get down. And so I, I just thought the, the game became really intriguing in the first half when, you know, they punched, we counter punched, and they scored right away again to go up 2 1. Um, and one of the things I felt like we still responded really well, even though we didn't tie it up in the first half, I felt going into halftime that we were doing the right things, we were playing well on both sides of the ball. I think the, the most important thing for us was to make sure that we stepped on the field with the confidence that we were going to come back and get the win. And, you know, it's easy to say that as a coach, and you'd hope that. But the reality was the guys were doing it on the field, and I think they felt like they were going to come back and get the win. It was one of those games where there just seemed to be a lot of controversy in the box. You know, the referee had to make a lot of tough decisions. I, I think he had one against us that was a tad bit harsh. Uh, and then later in the game, uh, we got one that maybe is a tad bit harsh. The, the game kind of evened out in terms of the justice of the two PK calls, which are key play plays because they create you know, a good chances at goal. But in terms of the other set piece goals, I, I, I think I don't look at those as maybe uh, as much set piece as we really were creating good chances in the run of play. They had Tampa or Atlanta had to react and, and struggle to keep the ball in net. It leads to a couple good corner kicks that lead to goals. So for me, those goals were a result of us pressuring and getting good chances and uh, having those waves of attack that tend to lead to goals. easy to say oh he didn't have any goals you know but uh, when I look at the game and if the real fan looks at the game he did really well I mean he worked really hard on both sides of the ball there was key moments in the game that uh, if you really watch it and if you want to watch it again you'll notice that he had some involvement in all three goals uh, or leading up to those goals at important plays uh, defensively uh, you know there's little things in the second half key moments where we needed to keep possession or we needed to you know clear a corner kick uh, that he stepped up and realized we, we really needed to get the three points and in the last 15 to 20 minutes he really showed some savvy uh, in terms of his leadership to make sure the team walked off the field with the win. It's, it's tough to get shutouts, you know, again, I, I think when I talked to you before, we took a lot of pride in our first two games and limiting the other team's chances and, and having a clean sheet. And the reality is this last game, you know, it dealt with some different adversity. I, I, I think anytime you have two goals scored against you, whether it be home or away, you want to get better. You want to get back to having your good organized shape. Uh, you certainly want to defend set piece a little bit better. Uh, you don't want to put yourself in those situations. And I, I think, you know, uh, that's what this week is about. It's about preparing for a team that is actually really, really good offensively and how can we deal with that uh, as a group uh, to make sure that we're ready uh, to hopefully have a better game defensively.